Greetings to you, everyone, and uh, good morning to you. Or, uh, my name is Tishan Amgazi, and I'm the Ash Africa coordinator. And I would like to welcome everyone to Ash E Lunch, episode 17. Uh, without taking much of our time, I'm going to highlight how we are going to navigate through the two through our two hours. So at the beginning, we are starting with the spotlight entitled carbon reduction at individual level. Uh, being presented by Mr. Ruzani, one of our teammates, and we'll then move on to our main discussion, main topic of the day, entitled Africa's Quest for Sustainable Development Goal Number 7. And we have a guest presenter for that, that is Mr. Michael Sakala. And uh, at the end of the session, we are going to make a few announcements, then uh, as usual, do our group photo. Uh, before we uh, jump in into our spotlight, I would like to highlight a few housekeeping rules. Uh, whenever you are not contributing or speaking to this session, uh, make sure you mute your mic so as to avoid uh, background disruptions. And also, it is optional to turn on your video, but we would encourage the presenters to leave your video on. Uh, and also, whenever you want to make a comment, uh, during the presentation, or you may want to make any remarks, you can uh, make use of the chat section. So, uh, and we will always refer to those during our session. And if you want to be noticed uh, by our presenters, we encourage you to use the reaction buttons so that you can be given the opportunity to speak up. Everyone, let's all relax and sit back and enjoy this great session. Looking forward for an insightful presentation. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Zani, uh, you can come up uh, with your spotlight and present. Thank you. Thank you so much, Teach. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Tinashe Ruzani. I'm going to take you through today's spotlight on carbon footprint reduction uh, at a personal level. So start by defining what is carbon footprint. Uh, carbon footprint is the entire quantity of greenhouse gas emissions caused by the production, use, and disposal of a production or a service. It, it includes carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, fluorinated gases, which trap heat in the atmosphere, causing global warming. So I have tips so that we can reduce carbon dioxide emissions. So on the road in the sky, uh, in November 2017, carbon dioxide emissions from transportation surpassed emissions from the electricity generation. Uh, how much and how often you travel? Taking one fewer long round trip flight could risk your Pace now carbon footprint significantly. Think about it this way. If you use public transport often and fly home to visit family just occasionally, your carbon footprint might still be relatively sustainable. But if you drive and fly a lot, your emissions will be higher. If we can avoid flying, this is one way of making up for the emissions caused. You can donate money to sustainable projects, such as supplying efficient stoves, to rural homes for renewable energy source projects, such as helping farmers in selling crop waste as biomass. We can also drive lies. Try taking a train, bus, or better yet, ride a bike if possible. But we want to be realistic here. You likely need to use a car this year. So these are some few tips. Uh, these tips were made these tips are made by Brainwast, an expert in fuel and engine research from Oak Ridge National Laboratory, which researches energy use and resolutions and solutions. So the first tip is go easy on the gas and brakes. Driving efficiently can help to reduce emissions. Drive like you have an egg under your foot. Regularly service your car keep it more efficient. You should also check your ties. Keeping ties pumped correctly can reduce emissions. Low tire pressure will hate your fuel economy. Air conditioning and intensive city driving can make emissions creep up. 
cut down on these as often as possible. You can also reduce carbon dioxide emissions by considering on what you put on your plate. Global emissions are linked to what you put on our plates. So we might need to eat sliced meat. Our food systems are complicated and the is still evolving on what the most environmental friendly diet is. Experts most agree that cutting down on meat and red meat in particular, it is a better choice for the environment. This is because the production of red meat use a lot of feed, water and land. Cows them so themselves also give off methane emissions, which is a harmful greenhouse gas. According to the study published in 2017 in the journal Environmental Research Letters, red meat can have up to 100 times environmental impact of plant-based food. So we might also opt to eat vegetarian diet. This is a better solution. Might also need to waste less. Uh, this can only be achieved by taking these few tips. You need to plan. Don't cook more food than you can eat. Account for the rightful amount of food for the number of people eating and adapt recipes to your needs. You also need to check stock. Organize your field regularly to check what you already have and make grocery shopping lists before you go to the store to prevent buying these things you don't need. You also need to get creative by reusing leftovers instead of tossing them. For instance, leftover rice can be used to cook fried rice. They can best used in also for making biogas since they are biodegradable. You can also learn to segregate uh, them from plastics. This is also what you need to do. Take climate change into consideration at personal level that can help you your daily activity. Firstly, you can achieve this by knowing your facts. Understanding the signs of climate change will help you. Make sure you understand what really caused climate change, what is affecting the environment, what do I do daily that really increase the carbon footprint, which is a major cause of climate change. Also need to like find local climate actions groups. You need to attend these meetings. This will help you to keep you abreast of where you can help your community in achieving this goal of reducing climate change. You also need to educate someone Make sure you educate everyone around you. Talk to your family, friends, and local representatives. This will help to reduce the carbon footprint in the atmosphere, which is a major contributor of climate change. We should also participate and also invite as many of our connections as we can in some good programs like ESH, which is a rightful, which is a platform which focuses on educating also how people can reduce climate change. Thank you so much, Teach.